Hello, Gemini. It's time for your November reading for this current year. 2001. Okay. So, how are y'all doing, my little sunshine flower angel people? I'm not going to clarify with a different deck today because I, 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 I just can't be fucked. And to be honest, like my kid inside of me, it's going to be a Gemini. My friend Courtney's excited. She's pretty sure that it's going to have her birthday. It's going to be like early. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. But like, ugh, the sooner the better. Because like, this little shit. <laughs> like, I love it already. It's cute. It's adorable. But it never can make up its mind about what it wants to eat. And then I can't make up my mind. And now I just thought of food. And now I'm slightly hungry. It's okay. I'm going to make me some eggs here in a minute. Ew! It's like some of you guys are looking at some movement, some swiftness with the Eight of Wands, right? Good deal. Let's see what this card reading has for y'all. I'm going to do it a little bit quicker than normal, but that's okay. No worries, right? Okay, Gemini. So let's lay out this first side for you. Definitely is feeling disappointed. Ugh. Damn, Gemini. Beginning theme is someone's not being honest about their feelings to the point of being really, really, really immature about it. Could even be a child, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And they could be me this King of Cups as well. He's not an entirely emotional douchebag, but he's definitely emotionally stubborn. So we'll give him that. But he knows what he wants, and he can tell what other people want. So he's not being entirely dubious. But I don't see him being as honest as what he can be. You know, we got, like, a king of pentacles up here in your fears when it comes to, like, delaying a faded moment. Like, I always call this the final result, but to, but to me, in reality, I always think of this as almost like a catalyst. And then that's when all this comes out from it. I should explain it to the other ones, but it's kind of too late now. Uh, let's see. Like this page of pentacle, like I said, you feel like you are disappointed, or maybe even you feel like there's a chance someone's offering you disappointment, but that's all you're receiving. Like you give out so much, only to be disappointed, <laughs> and that leaves you feeling like you're wanting to like give up because people are against you in some matters, and that's I, I feel like. You're feeling disappointed in what you're giving. Like you're surrendering almost. And now there's like really no communication. Maybe even like ghosting or silent treatment going on. When it comes to this King of Cups person. This water sign person possibly. And it, but it's just like riding to this tower where it's just delaying the inevitable. Right? Could have been a third party situation, you know? This could also be a child, too. Just like the Page of Cups. They don't actually have to be the signs either. That's definitely the vibe I'm getting from all of this. Give me some mac and cheese. Oop. Someone's not coming out with some truth or, or someone's keeping their mouth shut about something. Oop. Oh, two fell from that. There was about to be a whammy, but never mind. And 
There might be an Aquarius involved, but someone might need to heal, but they're not taking the time to do so. Like, someone might need to recover for something, but they feel like they don't have to. Like, they have shit to do, right? They're not letting their mind rest. Maybe they're even overthinking or giving themselves tiny little panic attacks. Ugh. And, but someone is trying to manifest something to begin. Someone's trying to adapt. Someone's trying to make some magic happen. No whammies. Okay. So then we got clarifying all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're disappointed, so you don't even want to think about how disappointed you are, Gemini's. And yeah, it, you might actually be dealing with an Aquarius. Huh. Like someone being emotionally stubborn a little bit. Not meaning to be, but just is. Maybe they need to do their own healing. Or maybe they're trying to replace one thing with another. That could be possible too. Ah, this King of Pentacles is in your fears is about some news that might get delivered. It might be coming in the future, right? And there are delays of some offer that's supposed to be coming to you, and that's kind of what's making you feel so like, oh, like it could be the Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and this could be the thing as this, the same as, because I can't talk today, this King of Pentacles up here, right? Maybe you were expecting think that you're losing because you're not getting a message from them or something offered to you from them and it's just taking a while like this lack of communication comes from overindulgences more than just like a third party situation like someone partied too hard and didn't give a shit about the consequences and now like there's no communication strictly about that or like If someone is avoiding this conversation, there's a reason for it. Like... Um, okay. Could it be possible that someone... Had... An affair of sorts with the water type. And this could be the result. A young child, maybe? No, no, I'm just throwing that out there in case it might get to somebody. like Or just people with those qualities. Maybe this is a production of that. Oh, someone's trying to get away from that tower. It is not happening. <laughs> They're trying to sneak away from the past. And it's definitely not happening no matter how much they delay it. Like, that's futile to think it's futile. The ending thing being, oh yeah, Gemini. Like, someone's definitely being paranoid about it. Page of Cups up here. Both very immature. Like, someone's keeping an eye out and someone isn't being honest with their feelings for the most part. And it's like, wow. I feel like someone, I feel like someone isn't trying to be honest about something. Like, not, not that they're lying, but it's like they just don't want to deal with it. Because it's like, you know, I don't want to think about this. Like, all it's going to do is bring me disappointments, you know? Or maybe it makes you feel like a disappointment because, like, there's something that you've been waiting for and it's still not there yet. Maybe you're waiting for this news and it hasn't come yet. Hey, kitten. Okay, just don't let me check in. Don't come near me. Maybe I didn't want to pitch you anyway. Prissy. 
Like, I feel like... You know... Someone just wants to avoid the inevitable because it's reality. Reality isn't as fun. Reality always hurts. You know? Get off me, bug. Oop. That almost turned, but it didn't. Oh, there's one. Someone's going to need to go on a new, brand new journey. Like, they were going to take a step. They're not going to hesitate when it comes to all of this. Like, they've been disappointed. They haven't wanted to think things over. They're way tired of waiting, I feel like. They're tired of feeling like they have to get up. Like, they want to go ahead and move forward. They, somebody wants to establish a stable and happy home. A happy life, happy place, happy pets, happy kids, happy wife, happy life. But there are still some things they have to go over. Still. Yeah, like someone hasn't been thinking about it, and now they're going to start thinking about it. And possibly opportunities that might come out of nowhere as well. And that is yours, Gemini. So I will see you guys later. Bye-byes.